Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Strategic Command World War II World at War. It is October of 1941. The war on the Eastern Front is going, eh, I don't even know how it's going. It's going moderately well. Uh, we are driving on Moscow. We're really trying to take uh, Smolensk. Our last turn here, we waged a battle against the defenders there. And unfortunately, we weren't able to take the city. We did weaken a Russian army pretty substantially, but we didn't destroy it. Uh, in the north, we've kind of slowly started to potentially maybe encircle a large Soviet force, although they have multiple towns in this encirclement, and our ability to reduce this many units down to nothing is, is probably questionable at best. It's probably a little overambitious. In the south, we took the city of Kiev, uh, and we are driving east on Kotentop and Karakov. Uh, meanwhile, we have isolated Sevastopol, but not destroyed it, and that's kind of the situation. However, it's October, so the winter in Russia is about to come. I've closed pretty close to Moscow, almost to Vizimia, uh, but I haven't yet uh, reduced Smolensk, which is going to be key for us to be able to successfully uh, drive on Moscow. I think Moscow is probably a 1942 concern, if we can get there. But we'll see. I've got obviously a bit of a bulge here that the Soviets could try and counterattack into. So again, we'll see how it all plays out. But um, actually, I want to do, do one more attack here and just lose some garrison troops. Yeah, okay. Well, two more attacks here. Gormel did nothing for us, except that maybe they reduced the entrenchment of the enemy there. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this turn. Uh, in China, we are sort of bleeding ourselves dry. We knocked the Chinese out of Yicheng, but I'm guessing they're going to get more troops there next turn. Uh, we have uh, kind of run into a stalemate here in the north with no real ability to accomplish anything. So I'm struggling on what to do there. But uh, the Japanese are preparing for the attack on Pearl Harbor. Uh, the Japanese fleet here... Uh, we haven't taken Tarawa yet, but the Japanese fleet here is on the sort of the the demarcation line before we end up at war with the U.S. So we'll probably go to war, if not next turn, then the turn after. And we also have started to put some of our troops into amphibious landing craft uh, so that we can try and take the Philippines and other objectives here very quickly. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump forward to November of 1941, and we'll see how things play out. The oil embargo continues to hurt Japanese morale. The loss of Kiev reduces Soviet morale. Finland is entering the war against the Soviet Union, so they're preparing for war. The USS Hornet is arriving in the Pacific, so the Americans are getting another carrier in the Pacific, which is bad. That means the Americans are inching toward war. Probably not far from declaring war on us as is. I think they're at like 70% in the favor of the uh, Allies. Their mobilization is definitely increasing. Uh, meanwhile, we've almost convinced Thailand to join us in our struggle against the Allies. You can see there they swung another 18% to the Axis side. And uh, we'll see how the Allies counter. Chinese national morale is boosted by the arrival of Soviet supplies. The Soviets are sending supplies to China? What? Uh, and apparently there was a revolution in our rear in China because it looks like there's a cut-off unit there in that town. Meanwhile, they brought more troops into Yicheng. They promptly attacked and died. It'll be interesting to see if the Soviets fall back more. It, it does look like maybe they're trying to pull out of this pocket near Poltusk. At least they pulled back their uh, mechanized troops there. Yep, they're pulling out their, their infantry. I don't know if that's to move north to deal with the Finnish threat or if this is a genuine withdrawal. British reinforcing their position in North Africa. Reinforcements have arrived at Smolensk. Soviet bombardment near Sevastopol. All right, so we've got good weather for us now over North Africa. Hopefully that lasts. Air battles going on here. The Soviets are bombing some of our lead elements. Artillery. Nice. Counterattack of that core near El Alamein. They're counterattacking our mechanized spearhead. We really need a turn to replenish some of our casualties. Our troops have lost a lot of manpower. Okay. Okay. 
Advance north to Baku. Soviets trying to break through to whatever the name of this town is to relieve the uh, core surrounded there. I wonder if they attacked if they don't if they aren't able to gain back any entrenchments. I've got two Soviet corps cut off at two towns here in the rear, but I don't really have enough troops probably to reduce them. Um, the Flying Tigers are operating in okay in China. Yeah, there must be some revolution here in Tsinguan, or however you pronounce that. British battleships in the channel. You some embargoes still hurting Japanese morale. Finland joining the Axis. A lot of raiders going on here. So the submarines are doing their job here this turn. We'll take a look and see how much economic impact they had on the, uh, on the British. So the British lost 15, 25, 31, 41, 46 industrial points this turn. That's useful intelligence there. It has started to snow. Um, I'm not probably going to drive on Kiev or on, on Moscow anymore. Can these guys not bomb in the snow? Fuck, our Air Force is completely grounded. Um... All right, I'm gonna try Let's see if we can destroy these guys on the ground. We have one air unit that can do something. No, these guys can bomb at least. Um, shit. All right. There we go. Alright, so... What are we going to do? First off, they're going to move in behind these guys. So that Soviet core here, this amphibious core, is suffering, I guess, would be the right, the right word. It should be finished off, hopefully, in the next turn or so. These guys are surrounded. Let's destroy them. Come on. There we go. All right, so that armor just finished off those uh, troops that were cut off. Reinforce these Italians here on the front in Russia. We'll form a cohesive front line here. Move the headquarters forward. Alright, so we have successfully cut off Sevastopol. I don't think they'll move out of their fortress town, but I will bring one unit south, just in case. Spend a little bit of industrial points here. So Sevastopol is now surrounded. Um, could attack, but I'm not going to this turn. Meanwhile, our mechanized troops... None of these aircraft can fly. These guys need to reinforce... Alright, I'm going to drive this way and knock out these guys. Very nice. So our mechanized unit just knocked out a Soviet air unit. Let's force march these guys here to keep a cohesive front line. These guys will move over here.
All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep pressing forward here with some forced marches to get some of these guys back to the front. They can't attack because of the way that we force marched them, but they'll at least be in, I think, good position. So we're going to have a large mass of troops down here as the Soviets are kind of forming up their front near Kursk. Um, might as well attack here and do some damage. Didn't lose anything, so that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and... I don't know if I want to prepare them. I guess we'll just force march them. Uh... Let's see. I'm gonna for ah force march these guys over here. Actually, these guys can move down here and, and try and attack these Soviets who are surrounded. Good job to you. You guys are gonna rest and reinforce this turn. Lose a lot of your experience, but that's okay. We need to slowly get troops back up to full strength. Um, can we attack at Gormel? Not with much hope of success. Alright, reinforce them. I guess this is a good turn to... Well, apparently some of these guys are not are without a headquarters unit and they can't resupply. Or reinforce. I'm going to reinforce the aircraft that I can. Get them back up to as close to full strength as we can. Some of these guys are red, which I'm assuming means they don't have a headquarters unit. I need more headquarters units, as a lot of you have already said um, they're trying to withdraw from this pocket we'll try and close the pocket here Nice. All right. So close. All right. These guys need reinforcements. They're so far up. A little bit overextended here. We'll see if this armor can... Uh, Breakthrough in Smolens can take the town. It is a key city here. And at least the armor can attack twice. Really wish we had uh, the... There we go. And... Can anybody else get there? Fuck! God damn it, we're gonna end up one damn point shy of taking the frickin' city of Sevastopol. Or, not Sevastopol, of Smolensk. And they're just gonna reinforce again next turn, and we won't take it. And I could have used this turn to reinforce my tanks, which would have been a better idea. Hmm. Alright. Meanwhile, let's force march these guys over here into position. Uh, I guess we might as well focus on spending some time reducing these surrounded Soviet troops. Nice. Good job, Garrison. Alright. 
So... All right, so I think this is about the extent of where our offensive on Moscow is going to stop. I think it's pretty darn close to where the Germans got to historically, although we should have taken Sevastopol by now. Um, yeah, we'll have to try and get some of these guys places where they have supply or something. I'm guessing they won't be able to fly until spring, though. That's problematic. All right. Uh, meanwhile, these guys have already moved. So I think that's going to do it for this turn. Maybe if the troops in the maybe the south won't be quite as wintry and we'll be able to bombard the troops up here near the front. I don't know. It's just a hope. Um, yeah. All right. What about North Africa? These troops can't have much in the way of supply. These guys are all right. So why? Huh? Why are these guys purple? Let's pull these guys back. Okay. They have supply, but not much, so we'll fall back and let them come to us. Alright, well, there's no point in attacking there, because I can't attack with any success. Great. Maybe we can bomb some of these aircraft. At least weaken their air force, perhaps. All right, the war in North Africa continues to be a protracted struggle to no real benefit. The war in Russia is not going quick enough. Um, fuck. British, more British destroyers. More British destroyers. All right, these guys are at least already hurt. Okay. There we go, there we go. Chip, chip, cheerio. Let's maybe finish him off with a sub. Or not. What about a battleship? Or not. Alright, these subs are going to reinforce. Um, battleship will retreat to the south. These guys already fought. Right? Yeah, they did. Okay, so those battleships are in position. Meanwhile, these subs are going to move north, hopefully to get on the Russian convoy lanes. Finland has joined the war against the Soviets. So we've got some troops up here. Fucking Katusha rockets!
Finland, get re get revenge. Wait, is this Soviet? Shit. Sure hope they don't bring any troops into Hankow. They've got a battleship station there. Shit. Can we drive on? I highly doubt we've got the, <laughs> the manpower to overwhelm Murmansk. But we can advance there, maybe. If we take Murmansk, I think we destroy that convoy route. They probably moved to Archangel back there. Um, okay, so that's the front in Russia. Now for Japan. I think next turn we probably go to war with the Americans, would be my guess. We're probably going to want to take this port near Upper E. So we're going to get our uh, amphibious assault forces in position here. They're all ready. Meanwhile, we'll need to have more amphibious transports. Do we want them over here? I don't know. Eek. Um, I don't know how I'm going to take all the Dutch East Indies. It feels like it's going to take a while. But let's go ahead and let's see. These guys are sailing where? Not Tarawa, probably. These guys will go for Wake. Didn't we have someone over here? Yeah. Alright, these guys are going to go for Guam. So Guam and Wake will be taken by those groups. Um... We're going to try and get these guys on to Longao, or however you pronounce it. I don't really want to pull troops out of these forward bases. Maybe we can send them over. This is not us, right? Yeah, it's just a settle. Wait, is it ours? Yeah, it is. We can send these guys for Tarawa, then. What is Nehru? Nehru is also the bad guys. So we'll get these guys over to Nehru, and our fleet will go next turn, I think. What's the diplomacy situation? The USA is at 70% mobilization. Where's uh, Thailand is at 87%. So they very well could join the Axis next turn. That'll save me needing to march these guys around. Uh, meanwhile, China... Hey, our Air Force can finally fly again. All right. Let's open up this road to uh, their capital. Bomb the hell out of Yichang. I think I just destroyed supply, not troops. But yeah, the goal is obviously to hit these guys hard. Um. Interceptors? Oh no! We've got escorts. Take that, flying tigers. You did nothing. Nothing against us. All right. So, kind of dividing my air force between targets. We already fought here in the south. Do we get two bomb two raids with the strategic bombers? Huh. Interesting. Alright, um, these guys already flew. So my air force is gone, as in they've attacked. I think Yi Chang. Nice, that army's gonna do five damage to them. There goes Yi Chang. It's our city. We'll move our army forward. Move these guys forward. And we're driving on the enemy capital. Swap these guys. Alright. Can we knock these tanks out, maybe? I doubt it. Maybe we can knock these guys out. Defensive artillery. Lame. 
Alright, switch with these. Really trying to muscle up on these guys. Very nice. Oh, now we have no one to move in to change. Oh, yes, we do! Chinese puppets! Hurrah! We took Cheng Shao and we took Yi Cheng this turn. A very good turn on the front in China. Uh, meanwhile, partisans are behind our lines. Um... All right, so we whittled these guys down. We haven't destroyed them, but we at least whittled them down. So what's the... Uh, we're going to be going through bad supply lines to try and get to Yi Chang, as well as a wall of fortifications. Hopefully taking Yi Chang will hurt their uh, national morale. We, it's a pretty... I like to think it's a pretty severe blow this turn for them. Um... But again, this is these are major rivers and mountains. I mean, these are it's going to be tough terrain to advance into. Um, I would much rather reinforce these guys to full strength. I've got all these armies down here in the south doing jack squat. Alright, so... These guys need to reinforce. Kind of withdrawing from the north of China here, just a little bit. Um, we'll see how this all plays out, but... These guys are ready to take Hong Kong. We don't have any more money for supplies. So I'm really hoping these guys join the Axis this turn. There's no set mode for them. So we're kind of out of money here. We're on the verge of... Uh, where can these guys go? Can we set mode prepare again? No? Maybe we can land on the Philippines with some paratroopers and really crush the Philippines quickly. Um, we'll need to scout out where the enemy fleet is, too, because honestly, I have no clue what they have around here. So we'll use our subs for scouting. Use pretty much all of our money there. The Germans have a fair bit left, but I'm going to need that, I think, for reinforcements in the next turn or two, so I don't want to blow that. Thailand will invest one more chit of diplomacy just to give us a better chance of getting them up to joining our side and I think that's going to do it for this turn. I think next turn is going to be the December 7th turn. It's going to be a little bit after December 7th, but it's going to be the surprise attack turn, I think. I want to be able to land and strike all these on the same turn, so we'll need to keep America at peace one more turn. They're at 78%. They'll probably be in the 80s next turn and then uh and then we'll go to war with them. But that'll be for next time, folks. So uh, I think this will wrap it up. Maybe a little bit of a shorter episode this time around, but uh, we'll have a, an exciting one next turn. It'll be a date which will live in infamy. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll also keep driving on on the Chinese capital at Chongqing. I'm guessing even if that falls, maybe they'll move it to Xi'an uh, in the following turn, or maybe Yan'an. That's obviously the communist capital. But uh, we'll have to see how this all plays out. Uh, we're trying to overwhelm and destroy the Chinese. We took two key cities in Changchao and Yingchang, and... Uh, that should at least uh, maybe help our morale and hurt theirs. We'll see. 
Um, I don't have a lot of infantry to devote to fighting the Americans, though, so uh, these guys will be enough for Hong Kong. Hopefully these guys will be enough for the Philippines, and uh, maybe these guys enough for Singapore, and we'll have to worry about where we go from there. But until then, that's another story for another time. Until then, this is the Historical Gamer saying, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm out.